Boom! Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Adam, and uh, we're doing a, uh, a special license, virtual pilot license stream. Um, you have to forgive me, my head is rammed. Um, we are doing a short flight today between um, two Mexican airports. And it's all to satisfy the um, the virtual pilot air transport license, which is the final license I have to complete um, before I can venture off into the career mode in uh, virtual pilot life, which is quite exciting for me um, because that means I can start taking passengers when I've you know passed this license, and I can start getting rated. You know, I've got self-loading cargo, so you get rated by passengers on your flight, and it's a little bit more challenging than just sort of flying from A to B. So I'm just building uh, the flight plan at the moment. So we're going in the old uh, 737. So as part of the um, the virtual pilot life, as part of the air transport license, it can be in any um, jet plane. And I quite like the 737 because um, I'm quite uh, I'm quite partial to it because it's a really good plane. It's it's it the systems on board are are really developed. They're really good, really modelled. Right. Well, let's get GSX here. Um, right. So uh, should we? Uh. There's no operate jetway here. Look at that. I mean, there's a jetway right there. But the option to operate it ain't there. That's weird, isn't it? So we're going to have to say no jetways here. And we're going to have to put the stairs on. Which is weird because there's a jetway there. Anyway, it'll load up a lot of other stuff, so... But where are we? He's ready. She's ready and waiting to go. Oh, here comes the steps. Man, that's loud, that is. I think that's quite loud. Anyway. We're here in Mexico. This is an old airport, by the way. This is like FSX Airport. Meridia. Um, in Mexico. So I don't know how it's going to perform. Like it does work. I've tested it, but I don't know how it's going to perform. You know what I mean? In the sim. Um, and we're going to Cancun. It's got inside there has been modeled by the looks of it. So yeah, it's weird that I can't operate that. Unless it's the old, uh, what is it? Control J or shift J. I don't know. Oh, that's for AI ships. Oh, get that off. Control J. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. So, today's... Okay, so, airline transport. You know, We're due to take off, by the way, at 10 o'clock. So, we've got, like, 50 minutes yet. So, we're, we're, we're all right for time. The, uh, the airline transport pilot license. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot, actually. There we go. Thanks for the host, Nim Nib. So, do you know what? It used to say, it used to come up with the alerts. Thingy is now hosting you, but I think that's only when they have viewers. I think I don't know. Anyway, okay. Airline transport pilot license. Here we go. Sunny weather. It, it, it is sunny weather. It's good weather today. So. Um, in Mexico, you know, should be good. Okay, so requirements for the airline transport pilot license. You must have a private pilot, solar pilot, instrument rating, cargo transport, multi-engine, and a commercial certificate in order to continue. I've got them all. Watch the YouTube videos on licenses. Do you know what? We're going to watch that video. I know what the video is. It's me. 
right? But we're going to watch that video actually because um, I want I want to be I want you guys to be able to see what actually you have to kind of do for some of these licenses, and in order to do them, there's like a couple of videos you might have to watch. So we're actually going to go and we're going to watch the videos associated with. Well, oh, rewind that one. Hello, cadet, and welcome to your airline transport pilot license. Congratulations on completing your commercial pilot check ride. At the end of this video, you'll be given a link so you can begin your airline transport pilot license. This is your final license to achieve, and you are doing great. The airline transport pilot certificate is the PhD of aviation and is a prerequisite for many airline and corporate flying jobs, including the oh, virtual sorry. pilot program. The airline transport pilot course will emphasize on airline orientated information and skills, focusing on subjects like aircraft handling and performance, crew resource management and flight planning. The flight training takes a pilot's existing skill to even higher levels of precision before undergoing the check ride. With this course, you will have logged over 25 hours of flight time, and by the time of entering the captain's seat, you have logged over a 100 fly. Uh, fly. Oh, mistake. In this course, you have logged Left over in? 25 hours of flight time. <laughs> Oops. And by the time of entering the captain's seat, you have logged over 100 hours of flight time. <clears throat> Once a pilot passes this particular license, they will secure their position with any airline or corporation advancing to larger and better routes, larger aircraft, and eventually captain. This is the final push for your career now, so I just know you'll win through. Don't forget to track your progress through this license with your logbook. Once complete, you will be out of flight school and into your virtual career life. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, right? So then we have to watch the second one, which is this one. Hello, welcome to the Virtual Pilots Life program. My name is Adam, and this is the Airline Transport Pilots License. This is what you're gonna to need to do and a few helpful things on how to gain your license. Well done, by the way, on completing your commercial pilot's license. Well done. So, the Airline Pilots License, or the Air Transport Pilots License. Uh, this basically means that an airline, a virtual airline, can now hire you, and you can begin the career mode once you get this license. Uh, you'll be sent an email uh, with everything you need for the career mode once you showcase a video on YouTube showing your completion of this actual license. Oh. You don't have to do a video for every uh, task that's required for this uh, license, there's 10 of them, but you must do a video of your final completion and you gaining that license. And only then we be able to email in to the email address that you've been emailing from the beginning uh, to request with the link to the video you made, your access to the career mode. Now- I'm gonna sort of stop you right there, Adam, right? I've got something to say there, actually, <laughs> which I didn't really, I don't, I don't know if I've ever thought about this, but he's just, I've just said, sorry, that, um, the to showcase your final flight on youtube right um the final flight of the airline transport pilot license is 12 hours long i just want to say you don't have to put the full 12 hour flight up it can be edited down okay <laughs> he hasn't said that but i am what is what is the career mode well the career mode is a flight bag on its own with complete instructions uh, it has links to all the medals that and awards and ribbons that you can earn. Yeah, what does it look uh, like? It teaches you how Let's have to a look, shall we? Them, ranking up from trainee first officer all the way up to senior captain. And it gives you what's most important is the flight book with all the official routes within the virtual pilot's life program, uh, the career mode. Uh, and it's only the official routes that will allow you to rank up to captain and earn all those sweet medals. Now, before you get all through that, pilot you've got decorations, to get your license for your transport pilot's license, rankings. Okay, so 
but lapels. This one's probably going to be your hardest one to do yet. Awards. Because you can't condense it down into, say, three or four flights. Medals. Because a lot of these flights require it to be a certain length. Oh, do you top know what? To top of climb. Or top of climb. Burn. Of Hang on, guys. Um, two hours, four hours, eight hours, ten hours. And you must complete the full flight from cold and dark engine on the run on the uh, gate or ramp at your uh, takeoff airport all the way to your destination airport and shutting it down cold and dark again some of these licenses are going to take you all day to complete that's better and there isn't it there is no time skipping there is no fast forwarding you must complete these in order to tick off the task um so you're most likely going to be flying a Boeing or an Airbus airplane for this. You can choose any twin jet aircraft or three jet aircraft that you wish, but you must be signed off certified for that aircraft in order to undertake that license. Now, what does it mean to be signed off for an aircraft? Well, before you can begin your career mode and even become a trainee first officer, you must be signed off to the aircraft you use in order to gain your ranking. Um, and in order to be signed off, you must have flown 25 or more hours in that aircraft with all required landing ratings. Um, right. the required landing rating is anything less than 250. If you get a minus 250 or less, then you have, that's the successful log of that flight. And those hours that you spent in that aircraft can go towards your rating for your aircraft, your certification for your aircraft. You can't carry passengers in the career mode until you have a certification for a particular aircraft you're going to fly. 25 you hours. You have flown 25 or more hours in that airplane to be certified for that airplane. Before we can then start logging. passengers for a virtual airline and every flight you do after that will go towards your ranking up to senior captain and you'll get all them sweet medals and ribbons, okay? And bragging rights once you've earned these. I mean, there are hundreds of medals and certificates. So we're going to have to do, <laughs> we're going to have to do a few flights um, before I can start taking them passengers. We're going to have to do like just a few fun flights in any one particular plane and I think I will start with a 737 because I have I've flown it the most so far. But we, I will go on to Airbus uh, in the future and, and do them as well. Thousands of awards, you know, uh, dozens of ribbons. So once you start obtaining these, you know, there has been a lot of hard work that has gone into obtaining a medal or even more so a ribbon. You know, all the awards that you earn during one single flight all add up to a medal. And a lot of medals will add up to a ribbon. So once you start waving around the ribbons that you've earned, honestly, people are going to know the hard work you've put into it. You know, I can't wait to start seeing people uh, obtain ribbons and medals and start bragging about, you know, I am now successfully a senior captain. I've ranked right up. It may take you a long time. It may take you years. But don't forget, this is compatible with Microsoft Flight Simulator, X-Plane, P3D, FSX, almost any simulator that has commercial aviation in it. I, I can't wait to see uh, what uh, sort of... Uh, Just making it up on the spot, by the way, here. No script. I, I really can't wait to see you uh, as your first officer, your first day as a training first officer. So go out there and ace this license for your air transport pilot's license. Earn it. Don't burn it. And I'll see you in the career mode. Thank you. Take care. Goodbye. And in the virtual skies. Oh, yeah, baby. Right. Okay. So that's basically, yeah, that's it. So once I do these licenses, you know, I can then start. First, I've got to be signed off to a particular plane. And I'm going to do the 737. Um, so we'll be flying that in a career mode. Um, and then as I fly that as well, I'll also do other planes and start learning them and start getting signed off for them so i've got like a multitude of planes that i could actually use in my career mode um so what is the airline transport pilot license duration there are seven exams in this course i mean there's 10 in total really but in the exams of the course there are 
seven exams and some exams may only take two or three hours this one only has to take 30 minutes it's an hour flight but the uh the full flight time uh, between top of descent top of climb only needs to be 30 minutes um so there is no instructor to hold my hand this time i just simply watch the videos that i've watched follow along my own flight and complete the exams once i complete lesson seven okay so lesson one is a full 30 minute flight lesson two is a one hour flight lesson three is a two hour flight you can see see what's happening here lesson four is a three hour five is a four hour da, 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 all the way up to seven which is the six hour flight and then after that it's eight is an eight hour flight nine is a 10 hour flight and 10 is a 12 hour flight Ooh. Right, so once I get to seven, okay, I'm qualified and I graduate out of flight school and I begin my, you know, solo career, um, which means I am now a first officer. Um, so the final three exams must be flown from the right-hand side of the plane, okay? So when we're in here, I have to be on this side of the plane from now on from for for lesson eight nine and ten right because i'm a first officer and i'll have the lapel changes what which is exactly what this thing is this black thing down here is what's on my shoulder to show that i'm a cadet still in training um but once i reach le lesson seven it will turn into a um a first officer a training first officer lapel thing um and so each flight uh, after that, um, or each flight anyway, must start from cold and dark and end as cold and dark to qualify as completed. And a landing rating of minus 250 or less is needed in order to pass. There are some advisories that I could do if I wanted to, but they're not necessity. Um, and I'll, But I'll read out what it says. It says, hold a 737 or similar Airbus in a VOR, take the Boeing aircraft through a full VOR approach and land guide a twin engine jet in an ILS approach and fly a full flight between two islands in preparation for the flight. Watch the videos in f full first before attempting what is being shown. Now, the, the, the where we're actually going is between two lots of land. It's not two islands though, but that them advisories are not necessity, um, but you can do them if you want. And that's pretty much it really for the reading of this. So, uh, Let's see here. What's next? Once you've completed all lessons, head over to your check ride in order to pick up your certificate. So once I hit lesson seven, once I complete lesson seven, which is a full six hour flight from top of climb to top of descent, I then get my certificate. Airline transport pilot. And if I've got 25 hours logged, which I should have by then, in this 737 plane, I can then get a career going. And then that is that. So today, uh, we're going to log the flight for today. Um, put that aside now. Don't need that. We've got our flight plan. So from this point on, um, it's all a little bit more serious than it has been before. So my flight plan is no longer going to be a PDF that I, I bring up on on the screen. I've got an actual printout here of my PDF of my flight plan with all the information needed. Now I probably won't print off in the future every single page because there was twenty of them for the flight plan, and it incorporated the weather. You know, it incorporated a lot of things, which to be honest, um, I can grab here, like the weather. Uh, oh, Rex. Where's Rex? Rex hasn't loaded. That's peculiar. Why isn't Rex loaded? Custom. No, I actually clicked Rex Weather Sync. Thank you very much. So that was a bit weird. Now, do you know what? It's so weird. Rex. Oh, no. Rex has just folded on us. That's what happened. Do you know what? This is so weird, right? Rex has been working fine, by the way. Absolutely not a problem from Rex. Beautiful weather integration. Lovely jubbly, right? My my Windows... My Windows is updated, you know? Last night, it, there was an update. And ever since this update, Rex just keeps on crashing. 
like it doesn't like it it doesn't something whatever the new update was rex is like no thanks i'm not a part of it mate i mean it's not surprisingly and it's nothing against rex because this is rex for version four of p3d not five there is no version five um so but this this has been working successfully um up until yesterday and then it's just crashed so oh actually no we're not going to between two islands sorry that that's our flight plan there Okay, fair enough. See, Rex has just folded again. I don't know why Rex won't run. It's like it don't want to run. It it's it, I ever since this update, I might have to roll the update back to be fair in order for Rex to to start running again. I I don't know what has changed in the PC for Rex just to go not today, mate. Which isn't a problem. I, I, I've always got other weather programs. You know, I can always start. I'm not going to start Active Sky, though. Because, uh... Right, do you know what? I'm not going to load the flight plan. Let's see what happens if I don't load the flight plan. Okay. And let's, while it's there, let's see the, hear the weather, weather briefing. briefing for Saturday. The 15th of August, 2020 at 8 UTC. Current weather for airport, Mike. Mike. Uniform. No, it's gone again. Hmm. It's interesting, that is. I don't know why, but... Okay, well, we'll just use real weather. Real global weather this time. And I'll have to investigate that a little bit further. I'm wondering... You know, I suffered a crash yesterday on YouTube of the sim, which I'd never done before. Um, and, and to be honest, it was the first time I've loaded like six airports up, you know, it, at once and, and actually tried to fly about six airports. I've never done that before, but that might have been the reason. But I'm now I'm thinking actually it might have been something to do with Rex because when I shut the sim down and stopped the stream, my PC was trying to uh, do an update and... I was like, you cheeky little swine. Why are you doing that for? So I was wondering, I'm wondering if that's that's what it was now. Right. Start the weather transfer. Oh. And it should load in the weather. Complete. Don't see any difference, to be honest. Okay, whatever's. See, Rex is much better at the weather, I feel. But, okay. Anyway. So, yeah. Flight plan will always be printed from now on. So, uh, we'll go by that. And we've got our checklist. And... I won't have to do a walk around as such either. But one thing, oh, I'll tell you, one thing I will have to do, oops, is still use GSX. So uh, GSX is going to load as uh, not any passengers, but it will load as things on the plane. So um, I'm going to request the fueling and the boarding of food, which is going to be our weight today. And whilst we're waiting for that to arrive, we're going to get inside and we're going to start her up. So, checklist going through. Is the parking brake set? Check. Yes, it is. Um, check the METAR, which... Oh, here we go. We got rather... Here we go. Oh, that's refresh weather. I thought it was going to be like a weather request. Um, I thought we'll have to wait on that, I'm afraid. Um, oh, actually, no, what am I saying? It's on my flight plan, isn't it? I've got the whole weather thing here. So, what? what what's the weather crack in here at 10 o'clock um upside down hang on a second some of these pages are upside down need to turn them the way the other way around we're looking at this that's better Right. 
weather. We've got winds blowing to the west. Sort of five, six degrees of wind. Not a big problem. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing major. So it's all good weather. It's all good weather. Right, let's uh, start her up because they're going to start asking how much fuel and I can't do anything without the battery being on so let's turn the battery on let's uh, set it to battery which it is and put the standby power on just enough to where I can actually uh, pardon me and I'll just quickly turn these off as well they're off yep just enough to where I can now start up this and tell them the fuel which the fuel is that beeping is so annoying it's like a little bitch crying right the fuel today is one four three three one so fill her up boys and while we're here we might as well set our payload uh, oh, now he wants us to open the doors. Now, he, now he's crying for the doors to be opened. That's only because we uh, asked for the uh, the thingies to come on, so that's fine. Right. While we're here, we'll do our payload. So our payload today is uh, let's see, cargo. We've got twenty nine. Twenty nine. Uh, what was he still crying for? Please use the refueling system. Well, I've already told you how much to put on, mate, so do it. Yeah? Uh, right. Is that 29,000 or 29 tons or 29 pounds? I don't, I don't know. It's 29. 29. Dot zero zero. I mean... It doesn't really tell you. It's the weight of 120 people, basically. Hey! Wow, Tarundas Corlfton is now aboard. Cheers, mate. Thanks for that. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Um. Yeah, payload 29. Is there like a mate? Uh, I'll tell you. Do you know what? Let's just uh. Split the load here. There's a refuel. I've already given him the refuel numbers. There, that's the numbers. One, four, three, three, one. It's already happened, dude. Fill it. Not the doors, the payload. Right, under 26 passengers. Yesterday and at the moment your voice is very broken. Is your mic okay? Uh, as far as I'm aware, mate, yeah. You alright, Clive? How's it going? You mean, do you mean yesterday my voice was very broken? Or now? Because you say yesterday and at the... Oh, yesterday and now. I, I mean, I don't know until I hear it myself. Hang on then. Let me, let me bring it up to hear myself. Man, this... Oh. Bloody beeping. Hang on. He's still pissing and crying about that fuel. I've told him twice already to fill it with that much. I don't know what, what is the problem with him. He just... Yesterday towards the end of the stream and at this moment. It's very broken. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Sounds fine to me. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Sounds fine to me. Nah, yeah, it's fine, mate. Right, anyway. I gotta concentrate here, man. i 
got to put in 29. Why are they still crying about the fuel? I've told them. I want one. I want 14,331. I mean, what, that is what I was told. That's what I've got here on my sheet. Block fuel. Do it now. Like, why, why aren't they filling that up, man? What, what's going on? Look, they're still pissing and moaning here. I mean, they're not even out of the trucks. Oh, bloody hell. I mean, do you know what? Let's, I'll set a third and then I will enter in again. Try that. Tell you, man, you can't get the staff at these bloody places, can you? All right. Back to payload. Okay, we're going to say six uh, first class and 120 in coach. But you can't have 120. Burn. Okay. I mean, there's 126 in total. But this plane can't carry that. So that's... Not even funny, really, is it? So it's it's a full load, really, isn't it? I mean, these aren't the weight of people either, by the way. We're not taking people. I, I, I'm not qualified to take people. This is the weight of literally the, f the catering they're putting on. We're just taking food. That's all it is. It's a food trip today. So, But it's the weight of basically a full load of people. So... Okay. Anyway. It's all fine. Your end is it. Good, good. That's the important thing. Right. Clear all that. Get back to the flight. Uh, the the list here. Right. Uh, we turn the fuel pumps off. Uh, the interior lights we don't really need. Um... And now we've got to... Well, it's back to the FMC. Ground connections. Connect all, the, connect all that rubbish up. Remove the covers off them pit out. You know, we don't want any crashes or anything. Put the ground power on. Switch it to ground power. And emergency lights armed and covered. Uh... External lights. Well, before we get external lights, let me start Pro ATC. And we get our permission for ground clearance. Hey, Clive, I found out what it was, by the way, that, that caused it to crash yesterday. Um, when I came off the stream yesterday and shut down the sim, I had bloody Windows was trying to update with a virus checker thing, right? And I was like, what? What's, oh, you know? And I have a feeling that's what was crashing it, or it was Rex, because I can't run Rex now. Ever since that Windows update, for some reason, my weather program Rex just don't function. It just crashes every time. So I'm going to have to roll it back on the old update. I don't know why, but that's, that's most likely why it crashed. Plus, I was trying to run about six airports at the same time. Um... But yeah, it was a bit of a weird one that was. Right. Lights. Uh, the old logo lights. What do we got? Position. Uh, at the steady, sorry. Wheel well on. And wing on. And then we should disengage what hasn't lit up, so fair enough. And then at this point, we would uh, kick the seatbelt signs on. And we would start loading passengers, but we haven't got any passengers to load, so no problem. You also had a Windows upgrade as well. Mate, be careful. Like, you sit, Just check your SIM, mate. Just check your SIM. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? Um, back there, we've done the payload. We've set the fuel. So that's all good. Um, oh, in fact, I'll tell you what I will do now that we have got power here. I'm going to transfer the data over here to this one. And then this one will be my FMC. 
Um, turn on the uh, recircling air. Let's check. Packs uh, left and right. Set to auto. Check. And make sure the autopilots are turned off, which they shouldn't be. This is the first flight of the day. Speed brake is off. Check. And we need to do an engine fire test. So, are the lights working? Yep. And the test is successful. So, that is that. Let's set the IRLS now. So, we need to test it. Everything's working. Turn it on. There we go. Start that off. And then start setting up the FMC. Surely a Windows update should wait until your PC is not being used. Mate, Windows does what it wants, when it wants. It doesn't have to ask permission. It'll just do it unless I've set um, a certain time to do it. Like I have, I have set only update my Windows between these certain times when I'm not using my PC. But either that's defaulted back to something else because of a Windows update or I don't know why. It's just decided not to listen to me. And it's also removed my uh, access to it as well. Look, I can't get to... Uh, that's weird, isn't it? So I've got to go here and type settings. That's so weird, that is. So yeah, so... I have paused it now, so it's not going to happen. But um, I think... Uh, where is it? Somewhere under here, you know... You, I can't remember where, but you set a time. Actually, it doesn't. Here, active hours. Oh, it's off. <gasps> See, that that should be on. It's current active hours. Set active hours to when you're typically using the device. We won't automatically. Oh, it's only restarting the device. That's all it is. So we're not. It won't restart the device between eight in the morning, and uh, one in the morning, which is when I use my PC. So it's yeah. It's only for. The re anyway, focus back on the exam. Um, MMMD is where we are. So set that in there. Company root should still be there. Let me check. This has a habit of uh, doing wandering acts. Oop, wrong folder. What you could do with the getting a quicker access here. Where is it? There it is. PMDG, flight plans. Yeah, it's disappeared on me. I need to uh, get Thingy to put it back in now. It's alright, cheeky monkey, this one. There we go, now it's back in. Right. I'm going to put my weather over here just so I can read out when I need to. I'm going to get a weather briefing like we used to. Right, so the the route is. Uh, oh, do you know what? I forgot the route. Forgotten the bloody route. MMMD to MMMUN. Okay. MMMD. MMMD. There we go. Now, according to our flight plan, we are taking off from runway 10. Uh, activate all that. And our flight number today is... Six... What is it? Three, seven, four, seven. That's that sorted. 
pretty easy with the old fixes there. When I turned on this morning, a Windows setup screen appeared on my monitor. Whoa. Hey, Medic. How's it going, mate? Uh, altitude we're going up to today is at 17,000 feet. So we're not going too high today. And the cross, the wind is 50 at... Five knots, which is nice and easy. There we go. Plants. Reserves we have three, five, four, eight. Mm, say thirty. Um, Let's say four. And a cost index. Now, there's a page on here about that. I noticed when I was reading this earlier. Let me try and find it. I have got a cost index uh, thing. Do you know what? This microphone's in the way. Flight plan's in the way. I had a uh, sheet on here talking about Cost index. Where is it? When planning a cost index, two options are available. Pilots may either select a specific cost index number from the list or may select auto when planning an auto cost index. The system will reference the scheduled time and route option and attempt to choose a cost index which closely matches this value. Note that the time and route option is meant as a gate to gate time. I mean, it doesn't actually give me a number. Oh, it does. 14. Um, but I have a feeling that's more to do with the crew alert than it is the actual cost index. So, yeah, it doesn't actually... Give me a cost index. Unless it's somewhere else on the sheet. Where will we be crashing today, Medic? Hey, you never know, mate. It is me behind the wheel, innit? Go down in flames, innit? Don't see... Cost index... I'll have a look at the sheet. Um, I mean, we're flying British Airways today. We're not flying like... Um, I mean, we're flying British Caledonian, but they don't operate anymore. So they won't have a cost index sheet thing. Hang on, let me find, find it. I got... Uh, here it is. Database cost index. Open with Chrome. Oh, I just closed it. <laughs> I tried to close this, but it closed that. Right, there we go. So this is the cost cost index thing. Uh, we've got aircraft and we got airlines. So, I mean, technically I suppose we should go by the aircraft rather than the airlines. Because the airline doesn't operate anymore. So for our aircraft, we have... 737 NG typical is uh, between 10 and 30. Well, that doesn't help. So we'll, we'll go with British Airways. British Airways took over British Caledonia, so I'm pretty sure we should be running under their rules. British Airways. What are some British Midlands? There it is, British Airways. 737 28 cost index. So we'll go with 28. Unless you have a preferred cost index, the auto option is good. I know, but it doesn't say, mate. I can't find it on the flight plan. Do you know on, where it is on the flight plan? So I couldn't find it. Uh, 
Right, and that's that page done. Um, I've never had to worry about that page. I don't know what it's for. It doesn't seem to affect the flight. So that's that done. Takeoff page. Let's get back to our regular scheduled programming. Um, da, 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 da. what we got? So we're fully we're fully stocked today. So we're gonna go with uh, what we is say flaps fifteen. Those are quite heavy. So our trim is four eight four. Perfect. Uh, we'll do them in a moment. Runway is... What did I say? Runway 10, wasn't it? Zero, one, zero. And the wind is five knots. Um, I've never filled in these two either, so... Again, that's fine. Okay. And we can... Enter in our takeoff data, and that's that done. So here we go. Navs aligned. That's good. Um. Oh. Uh. Hang on. Have I got it already started? No, I haven't. Let's find out what our SID is. What's the old Sid? Oh, do you know what? I've done it again, haven't I? We haven't got clearance, man. Hang on, we need to get clearance. Uh, 13105. There it is. Change that over. Let's get... Let's ask permission to take off first. Clearance delivery. Right, to even go. Oh. BCC three four seven four clear to M N U N via U S B uniform one alpha departure and then as five climb and maintain five thousand expect one seven thousand within ten minutes after departure departure frequency one two zero decimal six five squawk four two seven five Q N H one zero one four zero one four BCC three four seven four. Read back correct. Contact ground control on one two four decimal three five. Roger. Okay. One, two, four, there we go. Three, five, BCC three four seven four. Oh wait, wait, no. Our squat code was four two. Sorry, that was the Q and H. Four two seven five. And. Uh, the Q and H was there. We go. Okay. F 18s deployed. Hot air balloon intercept underway. <laughs> we get some realism going on in here. Cost index would be set by selected company rather than aircraft. Cost index is used as cost for fuel based. Mate, I don't know what I know all this, mate. And we, t we took the British Airways one, so. Refresh your screen, Clive. You might be running behind, mate. Right. Um, we've done all that. We need to do our departure now. So, we're going through runway 10. And where... Let's have a look at the old charts. Find out what, which way we're going. So new flight file, which is this one. I don't know. Somebody's resaved it. I don't know what that's all about. So there we go. Taking off from there. So runway uh, in ten in use. So what departures have we got? 
Oh, actually, you know what? I think that might actually be. I did see something on my flight plan. USB US 1A. So that must be, yeah, that's the uh, thing that. So that'll be that'll be it then. Uh, USB U one A. There we go. Transition and uh, there we go. Add that to the route. And let's have a look at their all route. Yep, that looks legit. Okay, so we've got a we got four minutes to take off. Otherwise, we're running behind schedule. So let's get a wriggle on. Pump fuel aft one on. Check and uh, switch these generators on. Uh, bleed switch is on. Uh, check engine APU. Check. Um, right, disconnect the everything. That always does that. And I, do you know what? I don't. Bravo, Charlie, Charlie, three, four, seven, four, squawk, four, two, seven, five. Squawk, four, two, seven, five, BCC, three, four, seven, four. Don't know why all that does that, man. You follow the list, and there's always something in there. What have I missed? Nothing. Well, I know what it is. Let's get these pumps pumping. Oh, no. Well, that's what happened last time. I literally don't know what, what why it's beeping for. I literally haven't got a clue now. I follow the checklist as I do every single day. I followed it to the exact same way. I seriously don't know why it's beeping. And now, low low fuel pressure. It says down there. Oil pressure. Sorry. But I, that didn't give me any help. I mean, all this is low pressure. Hang on, why is that not moving? My throttle thing ain't moving. That one is, but this one ain't. That's weird. I can't move that for some reason. Parking brake's not set. Why is the parking brake not set? Have I turned off ground power? No. Well, I mean, I, I turned it from the ground power, but put it to APU. So, like, like I should. Battery discharge, I mean, and I can't stop that bloody alarm. Like the APU's got nothing in it. Why is that? The APU's dead. At least that's the way X Plane does it. From what I have seen, there's a real aircraft checklist. APU shouldn't be starting till the light comes on, saying they are ready. Try the APU again. I haven't. Well, the to be honest, the, the APU wasn't start was start. I wasn't started, like down the here. So But there's nothing for the APU. There's no amps at all. It's dead. 
Give me a rubbish plane is what they're giving me. Um, hang on, let me let me click off the screen so that bloody alarm stops for you guys. <sighs> I think what I need to do is I need to go back to connections and reconnect the ground power. Is that reconnect the ground power? I mean, the APUs said it was dead. So, let me just have a look at my checklist, make sure I haven't accidentally missed one vital thing. So, starting from the beginning. Battery, done all that, done that. Connected all the ground power up. Armed emergency lights. Set my payload and fuel. Turn the fans on, turn the packs on. Speed brake was off, we did a fire test, we aligned the IRS. I then went into the FMC, did all that. Turned on the first fuel pump. Switch the APU generator switch left and right to on, which are these switches here. Check that the AP bleed switch was on, which it is here. Turn the AC voltmeter selector to APU. Like that. Hang on a second. Yeah. But when I look at it. Oh, now it says it's got bloody amps. Hang on. Then go down here. Disconnect the... Uh, let's disconnect the air conditioning. Let's do a reverse here. And that. Because I just hit wheel shocks. So let's remove all that. One by one. Um, then, you know, we've already done the SID, the star, and all that. So... A generator bus transfer switch check that it's set to auto and covered which it is uh, fuel pumps all on which they are but there's no fuel in the center tanks I think so we won't need to even have them switched on yeah we haven't got any fuel in the center tanks um, hydraulic pumps all on I think that's what my error was Do you do? Hang on a second. It says here ground connections. Disconnect ground power, but over here. Oh right, okay. Um, no, that's fine. Hydraulic pumps are all on. That's fine. Um, packs, turn them off. I think I might have done something out of sync. Then I think that's what it was. Thirty, thirty-seven is a picky how I find the four-seven much easier to start up. <laughs> I think I must have accidentally missed a step without realizing. Right. Fuel switches are all cut off. Correct. Um, I feel like I, I have missed a step now, though, I feel. But no, I haven't. Right, okay. Um... Now we can go and disconnect our wheel chocks. That should be on now. I think we're back on. We're rocking and rolling again. Just enable that. Right. We're on the APU. We're off ground power. So that's it. We're, we're set up. We're, we're configured now. We're ready for a pushback. So we want to push back to go uh, just straight, I guess. Yeah. Or. Yeah, we can go straight. All right, let's uh, close these doors. Uh, 
close the door. Yeah. Door is all closed. Sweet. Right. Let's check our uh, legs now. Looking good. We're all ready for pushback. Permission. Crappy CC three four seven four. Quest start up and pushback. Bravo Charlie Charlie three four seven four. Start up and pushback approved. Roger B C C three four seven four. All right then, let's let's do it, man. Let's get some pushback going. Here he comes. Yeah, that works now. Hello. <laughs> oh, good day, sir. Just waiting for some open traffic while position. Oh, okay. We're pushing back in a couple of minutes. Parking brake on, please. Parking brake set. Man, we're right up against it here. Look at that. Trees in front of us and everything. This guy's taking his time, isn't he? Uh, straight pushback, mate. Uh, manual stop. Well, I didn't want to do a manual stop, but... Okay. Uh, Tuck is in position. Bypass pin is inserted. Open's now clear. Ready to push. Release parking brakes, please. Parking brakes released. Clear push. Clear. Your discretion. Okay, let's start the bad boys up then, shall we? Let's get this one going first. Boom, she's away. Next one. And he's back. Sweet. That's all sorted. Okay, so we got them them cooking now. Um, AC AC, you can go to the gen, and we can turn off the APU now. Push now complete. Set parking brakes. Please. Brilliant, mate. Parking brake set. Turn the bleed off. Put them back on. I don't know why, but they always do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. That's, we got a good engine start here, mate. Oh, hang on. I should tell them to stop, shouldn't I? Oh, no. He's already stopped me. Do you know what? I just didn't even think about that. Then. That's fine. That's fine. Um, packs. Turn them back on. Window heat's on. Window heat on. Tank disconnected and clear. Bypass pin is removed. Brilliant, mate. And uh, engine anti-ice on. Yaw damper on. Flap set. Flaps 15, we said, didn't we? Let's 
got a full load today. Uh, auto brake set to RTO and pushbacks finished, so taxi lights on. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, runway turn off lights on as well. We're ready to taxi. Let's do a TCAS test and get permission to uh, taxi. Crappy CC3474 request taxi. Bravo Charlie Charlie 3474. Taxi by Alpha to runway one zero. Pass. Right. Alpha to runway one zero. ECC three four seven. Runway ten. Beautiful. Let's uh, get a follow me car to runway ten. There he is off now. Bye, mate. Thank you. What's the airport called again? Merida. Uh, cleared to, we were cleared to 5,000, weren't we? Okay. Uh, flight director on. Um, auto throttle on. Speed knots. by the laws, don't we? Um, runway heading, which I think I have to set when I'm at the runway. Oh, cabin pressure. Uh, 17,000. And like a 50. Yeah, that'll do. That'll leave that there. You're going to do a 737 flight from Gold Coast to Canberra. Nice one, mate. Nice. Where's this follow me car, man? He's there. Look at him. He's waiting behind the plane. Just waiting there behind the plane. Doesn't even tell me he's here. Just sits there behind the plane. wasn't turning on. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Where are you going now? Bravo, Charlie, What's Charlie, he up to? Three, four, seven, four. Contact tower on one one eight decimal three. The fuck's he going? Is he fucking off? Like, what's that all about? He's just left me high and dry, that dude has. He's fired. Revoke him. Unbelievable. Unbe revoked. Let's get another one. Can we have another one, please? <laughs> I seriously wasn't that close to him, was I? I, don't, I didn't think I was. Like, that's so weird. Right, while we're waiting, um, we'll try we'll try the heading. I don't think it'll work, but we'll try it. Yeah, it didn't work. Is he is he going to be behind me as well? 
Here he comes. Come on, mate. The other dude must have gone on his lunch or something. He just kind of turned off and, and, and done one on us. Which way are we going, dude? We're going that way. All right. He wanted to go left. But, okay. I think it was a newbie he was. Work experience or something. Or, or he wasn't even my follow me car and he was just lost at the airport or something. I don't know. They always turn me onto the runway. I don't get why this is. It's like they want to see a crash. Like, couldn't we have gone down the backs here and not gone on the runway? You know what I mean? Like, surely it's safer to stick to the taxiway here and go around the back there. Unless this isn't my runway. Where is he going now? Oh, this must be my runway. Man, I don't know. <laughs> How many runways they got here? Uh, that's my runway, sorry. I mean, this... Yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh, I've done it again. Did I request taxi? I think I did, didn't I? Tower DCC 3474. Holding short of runway 10 ready for... BCC three four seven four line up runway one zero. Oh, lining up runway one zero. I was. All right. Lined up. Landing lights on. Taxi lights off. Position lights to the strobe. Uh, to the ready. Hang on. Up. Steady. Off. Position light strobe and ready. Sorry. There we go. Uh, transponder on, which is on. And positioning holding at the taxiway. We're ready, mate. We're ready when, whenever he is, like... I mean, should we go like? Say again, BCC 3474. BCC 3474. Line up runway 10. I am. Lining up runway 10. BCC 3474. Let's edge forward a little bit until he tells me to take off. Dude, they did this to me yesterday where they didn't tell me to take off. They just had me on the runway waiting for a while. And it's like, guys, we got to take off. Come on. I'm lined up on the runway waiting. You know what I'm saying? Control tower. Hello, mate. We're here. Can we go? I mean, I'm, is somebody coming in or something or that I'm unaware of? But surely not on my runway. Right. I'm, I, do you know what? We're going to say we're going, mate. Because he's not like, yeah, hang on, wait five minutes, mate. Somebody's coming in. He's just said to line up and wait, and we have. He surely must have seen us. I don't know what he's doing up there. Right, well, we're going. That's it. It's his loss. Rock and roll! So, push the stick forward. That's how they do it. 
when we hit 80 knots, we pull back on the stick, which we already have, so we pull back. Where's my Vs? I've no V1, V2, man. No V speed set. I set them. Load of rubbish. Taking off. I set them V speeds. That's it. We're going. Rocketing, man. Rocketing. Bloody hell. Gear up. Has the great. One seven thousand. Well, we might as well put it on autopilot now then. V nav and L nav on. The plane has the plane. Flaps up. Let's go through the uh, after checklist. Autopilot's on, check. VNAV, LNAV, check. Flaps are raised, check. Spoiler wasn't even armed. It doesn't tell me to arm the spoiler in this checklist, but I had to disarm it. Fair enough. Auto brake off. Oop. Runway lights turn off, off. And uh, landing lights, we might as well raise them now. It's fine. Uh, wheel well lights off. Window heat on, which it already told us to put it on before, and the engine heat that's on. We don't need wing deicer, we're fine. Uh, that's it, check. Rocking and rolling. Boom. Oh, yeah, baby. That's the view. Everybody who's following me on Twitch, that's the view you get. Your first class passenger, that's the view you get. Clouds. an advert man isn't it a bit loud that isn't it I feel like there's something I should be doing now this thing's got some climb on it Turn off the logo light. We don't really. Oh, I didn't turn it on. It's fine. Anti collision needs to be on, though. What the hell? Turn that to flight.
rocking and rolling then. We're almost at to cruise here. Oh, look at that. this terrain here. Looks a bit weird. Is this altitude now? Right, let's uh, have a look at our approach, shall we? It's only a short trip. Check out our arrival. We're expected runway uh, 12 left. 12 right. So, ILS 12 right. One, two, decimal two. Check. Radar with you at one seven Bravo Charlie Charlie three four seven four. Identifying continuum of navigation. Roger on that. Right. So we're coming in at our destination of Cancun. Um runway. Uh, 12 rights ILS well I don't know the transition mate um, let's have a look at the map Get rid of that now. Zudin. So we're almost there. There it is. XUDUA 1A. There we go. There it is. Uh, ILS 12 right. Transition to CUN, that's right. Execute that. Oh, unable to do 280 knots. Well, don't do 280 knots then, mate. Hang on. 
Um, what's the speed? We've got a speed restriction. See any? Okay. Take it down to two fifty then. Reset MCP altitude. What? What's that got to do with this? Okay, um... Is there a... Twenty one thousand then? Invalid. No way. Nineteen. There we go. Man, I can't get rid of that disc in... <sighs> Why is it saying reset altitude all the time? I've never seen that before. For some reason, it won't allow that one to go in. Anybody know? Just uh, concur this here with the uh, the flight plan. I mean, according to this, we're actually coming up to it now. But according to our flight plan on here, it's there. So why is it here? Maybe I should delete that. Can't get that one to go in there.
No. Right, we need to go from Boobin here to Exdonna. So. Boobin here really needs to be here. Yeah, Boobin to Extana. That's fine. Then to Cancun. So this Bebor, whatever it is, so that's going back. But we don't want to do that, do we? So if I delete that, delete Bubin, come on, delete. What's going on here? No. Oh man, this is this flight pattern here is completely gone. It's completely nuked. There's so many issues with this. I don't know where to begin, man. Um, man, we're going to have a problem in a minute. Major. All right, let's delete. Let's delete them all. So we'll actually enter them in. I think that's the only thing I can do. From quick. Right, even Coon. Right. So going from there, Extona. Hang on. Get the flight plan out. Right. Extona is our top of descent, okay? Then from there it's the Kun. So, C U N. Uh, Cancun. V O R. Okay. Then from there, it's. Well, that's it. It's direct to the airport. So now we need to put our arrival. I'm just going to do the runway. See what that brings us. Right, obviously, that gap. Oh, he's already descending us, man. One zero one three. Descending to twelve thousand feet. Twelve thousand feet level change. Right, let's go through our descent checklist. Um, top of descent. Sid the stars arrivals page, which is what we're doing right now. Speed brake set to flight detent. Uh, 
and um, when we get to 10,000 land runway lights on. Right. We need to set our arrival, which I worked out was this one. You know what? I don't think I'm going to need the flight plan. Um, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong track. I need to be going on that one there. Yeah, so right now that the that's completely screwed now, so I can't fly by LNAV. I'm gonna have to fly by heading alone. Shit. Oh, why is it still on my plan? Right. Sorry, what are you saying, medic? Have you set any altitudes manually, uh, mate? That MCP is f completely screwed. Um, I'm going to have to fly by this route here that I, I know. Ten thousand feet landing light zone. Turn the speed down. See, that's what I put in transition con and all that, but it's completely. Uh, gone cuckoo on me like I can't get rid of this bloody so I'm just gonna def that off forget that and uh, go by this flight plan here like I know where I've got to go so the airports here the runway I've got to, I basically got to fly out and then come in. So I can, I can still. I mean, the airport's going to be right ahead. Going down to 3,000, which means we're going to be coming in for a landing. Right. Uh, speed can come down now. 190. Um, can't use flaps just yet. Spoilers are armed. All the lights are armed. We're, re we're ready to rock and roll, we are. This is going to be an interesting one. We're coming up on our final approach uh, thing. Runway should be just about here. I 
Armed spoilers. Armed. Coming down to 180. Stage of laps. Coming up to our final approach. About 30 miles, 40 miles. We do need to get down a bit further. Coming up to, we're about 15 miles away from the airport. No? No, we're further than that. We're about 30 miles away from the airport. Transition altitude, I think we just hit. Give us some more flaps. I think we're going to do this all right. I think this is going to be okay. I just got to fly by the heading and forget the uh, FMC now. Right, so coming in for uh, landing, what's our uh, speeds? Um, 133. Um, do you know what we're going to say actually? Flaps... Uh, 30, so 127 is our landing speed. Airport somewhere over here. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Uh, we're coming into Cancun Airport. Uh, it should be up in the ground in about five minutes' time. And uh, looks like it's uh, going to be a nice one. Uh, there we are, nicely coming down to 3,000, ready for our final approach. Which we can just, we'll turn on the heading now. That's it, we're lined up now with the runway. Evidently. Waiting for that final push. So, let's, uh, let's see here. Final approach. Flaps set to 30. Final approach speed was, uh, we'll go down to 140 now. Um, 
Gear down latest at flap 20, which uh, one more stage and we'll do that. We're on, we're on an approach. Do we have the runway in sight? I think so. Is that it there? Nope. Must be further out here. I mean, we are. Our runway is uh, 120, so let's hit the 120 mark. And it should just be ahead. Why are we throttling up? Oh, okay, whatever. Um, I think I've missed something here. Auto brakes. That's what I've missed. Let's set our brakes too. We see an airport yet still? I don't see it, mate. We're at 3,000 feet now. We are approaching the runway. According to this, we're literally here, the runway. We're like five miles out. I don't see it. Is that it there? That's got to be it, isn't it? It's just I don't see it. And it does say left. We are going on the left. So. No, right. We're going on the right. Oh, is it one of them where it's just one runway? It must be. That must be it there. So we're not actually lined up yet. Let's uh, get over. Can we... Uh What? You mean I can't come in to land? You fool. Right, well I am. Descend down to a thousand feet. Starting now. Or do you know what? We'll do it. Right, autopilot off. I have the plane. Oh, we were lined up with the runway. That was it. Why is that kicking off? Shut it. Final stage of flaps. We're coming in. Gear down. We were lined up with it. That wasn't obvious. That wasn't bloody Mexican weather in it. Right. 2,500. We're on final approach. We're fine. Speeds. 150. Ooh, that needs to go down. Yeah, that needs to go down. Might need another stage of flaps. Final stage. Coming in. bit windy we got this we got this we've got to land it at minus 250 or better for this to count coming in we're at our final uh, landing speed now so we, we better uh, get some more speed up actually we're going to I'm going to fall out the bloody sky. Spoilers, slightly. Give me some... That 
wind. Coming in nicely, boys. Piss off, man. I'm landing. Never mind you climb to 3,000 bullshit, mate. We're coming in for landing. Deal with it. Do you know what? I can't wait to get rid of Pro ATC. It sounds great. I mean, it's it sounds super realistic. But to be honest, it's like... Like talking to a bloody Rain Man. Oh, dude, we're stalling. There we go. Little, little nod. Now we're too high. Full f speed brakes out. There we go. Oh, this is a hard landing, guys. Oh, we definitely didn't pass that one. We definitely didn't pass that. Reversers. Reversers. Yeah, that was a hard landing, guys. That was a... We're, I'm going to watch the replay on that. I definitely know I didn't pass. Just that last minute, man. It just... Oh, dude. Here we come off here. Whoa. Honestly. Don't believe it. Right. Okay. Let's, uh, whatever, mate. Whatever. I don't care. Right. Uh, we've landed. So, spoilers down. Flaps up. Transponder to standby. Uh, flight director off. Spoilers off, flaps set, yep, other brakes off. Taxi lights on. Landing lights off. Runway turn off lights off. Uh, we start the APU in it now. Position lights to the steady. Uh, wheel well lights on. Window heat off. Engine anti-ice off. Start the APU. Reset the bar for the autopilot. And here he is. Right in, let's go, mate. And here we are, Cancun. Take me to your leader, mate. Definitely like that is definite fail. Definitely know it there. Let's have a look what we get. Complete flight. Oh shut up. Now this particular flight or the 30 minute test that exam that I have to do, which obviously today we failed, um, I probably will, won't do on a stream, I'll do offline, I'll do it, you know. Right. Let's try and get this one in, yeah? Got a bit more room there. Oh, that'll do, man. That'll do. Right. Parking brake set. I mean, I think we're we're okay there. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. Uh, parking position. So taxi lights can come off. Um, parking brake is set. APU generator switches on. APU bleed switches on. Check. Put the that to the APU as well and cut the two engines. Check. 
Master warning, disengage. Um, to the FMC, we can set the chocks. Well, we must do it on this one now. Set the chocks and connect up the ground power. Cover them tubes. Game modes. Uh, man, what's that? I can't wait for Microsoft Flight Simulator and its landing mode. That's one thing X Plane lacks is landing ratings and being able to see where I stand. Do you know what? I've never. I don't know if I've ever seen a landing rating thing in the flight sim. Um, unless somebody's announced that 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 you know it is happening. I never saw it. Um, I don't remember getting feedback on my landings. Ground power on. That's set to ground power. APU bleed off, or APU off first, then APU bleed off. Uh, external lights, the steady, which we've already done. And the wheel well light on. Well, that's it, it was on. Uh, anti collision off. Yaw dampener off. Um. Pitot heat switches off. Um, and then all the pumps turned off. Done. Emergency light off. Um, and turn off the both the IRLSs. There we go. Um, turn the power to standby. Ground power can come off. Um, all the interior lights are off. That's to standby power as well. And uh, battery disengage. Off. That's it. She's, she's all done. Cold and darked. And there we go. That's ready for the next flight. So that was it. That's today's flight done. Didn't get the pass on the exam, so I've got to do that one again. Right, Cancun Airport. This actually looks nicer than the uh, one we just took off from. Looks pretty sweet, you know. I don't know. Something to work on, though, isn't it? Something to work on. So...